kids. Today we're going to read Princess Puffy Bottom and Daryl by Susan Nielsen and Olivia Chin Mueller. Where's Princess Puffy Bottom? Princess Puffy Bottom had the perfect life. Her subjects served her delicious meals, and if they were late, she gave them a firm but gentle reminder. They also took care of more delicate matters. In return, Princess Puffy Bottom permitted some petting and humored them once in a while. Life was good. Until the day Daryl arrived. He was horrible. He was disgusting. He was an animal. Princess Puffy Bottom knew he would not last. Daryl would be banished. It was only a matter of time. So she waited and waited and waited. Finally, the day arrived. Her subjects left with Daryl and they were gone for a long time. Princess Puffybottom celebrated. She knew they were taking him away to a faraway kingdom. Her subjects eventually returned with Daryl. Princess Puffybottom was not amused. Princess Puffy Puffybottom knew something had to be done. She tried hypnosis. She tried trickery. She tried sabotage. Nothing worked. Princess Puffybottom was sad. Nobody seemed to notice. Except Daryl. He was very annoying. He followed her everywhere. Daryl was not bright. Daryl was not sophisticated. But he had his uses. And he worshipped her. He put her on a pedestal. So, Princess Puffybottom tolerated Daryl most of the time. Life was good again. At least her subjects wouldn't bring home any more surprises. The end. I hope you guys liked that one. Bye, kids.